Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to be talking about Thin Lizzy. This time we're going to be looking at the song Jailbreak off the album Jailbreak. It was the big album that uh, broke them open in the United States. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't last very long in the States. The Boys Are Back in Town was on the album. That was a number 12 hit in the U.S. And Jailbreak itself did pretty well as a single in the U.K., really. Uh, and I guess Cowboy Song, too. But we're going to check out Jailbreak. This comes from a midnight special appearance, and this is in 1977. And so at this point, Brian Robertson has broken his hand after recording Johnny the Fox. And so he cannot go on this tour that they're on. So instead, we've got Gary Moore in his place. There's a lot more to that story. Uh, we covered some of it, actually, in our other Thin Lizzy video, Don't Believe a Word. So, Adrian, I assume you're familiar with Jailbreak, the uh, the uh, song. Yeah, it's been on the radio a lot. Uh-huh. And how, yeah. about the, how about the video? Uh, I haven't seen any video of the song. Okay. I haven't Anything? seen a Thin Lizzy video, for that matter. So you've never seen any Thin Lizzy at all on video? No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> that means we've got a lot of things to choose from. I haven't seen very much either myself. They did a 1978 tour of Australia, I believe, or at least one show, Sydney, at the Sydney Opera House. I've seen that, but that's it. So this one has Gary Moore. Uh, any questions? Uh, no, I'm looking forward to seeing the video. All right, let's get to it. Tonight 
ending it kind of caught me off guard a little bit <laughs> like yeah. oh well they're done all right well done guys yeah that, that was pretty good i don't know if i'll get my ass kicked for saying this i couldn't help but notice they took a couple of pages from kiss's book I oh think. yeah around this Arms time in the beginning and the big the sign and you know the band name and big letters behind them and the light oh well <laughs> <laughs> Such, and even even like the stuff that Phil was wearing, that's when Kiss was at the height of their popularity. And so they were uh, setting an example, I guess, for other bands. The first Alive album, I think, is where all that stuff came into play, you know. Yeah. And uh, it seems to me that I've seen other signs like that behind bands on Midnight Special kind of featured mm-hmm. the same way. So that may be a Midnight Special thing. Same time the Kiss is blowing up. And uh, and that in general, the idea of a rock show is starting to kind of explode, too. Uh, yeah, it just seemed to get more formalized around this time. Like, it started to become a show. It feels like early 70s, you know, you filed into this auditorium or what have you, you know, <laughs> this space. And maybe there weren't a whole lot of visual things going on at that time. There may be a few things. You know, you may have theatrical stuff going on, you know, a la Genesis. You know, the lights are getting better. They're putting in lasers now, you know, late mm-hmm. 70s. Yeah. Seeing Thin Lizzy at this stage in their career, right after they're, they're, yeah. they're essentially about to kick out the guy that's been there for the last four albums while they've climbed the ladder to success. And they're basically, this is one of their peaks. Yeah. You know, it would have been great if uh, Philip could have gotten a hold of his, uh, his demons and his addictions. Part of rock and roll, you know, if you succeed in rock and roll. <laughs> well, maybe in the 70s it was. Yeah, in the 70s, yeah, exactly. Midnight Special was a good show. Thankfully, yeah. they, they held on to a lot of these tapes or or mm-hmm. found a way to find them. I think we should check out yeah. more Thin Lizzy in the near future because there's a lot of gold in that mine, yeah. for sure. Okay. So uh, anybody out there, if you saw Thin Lizzy, please let us know about it below. If you have suggestions for us, uh, please let us know those as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. All right. Take care. See you all later. This is how a rock star should act. You know, where's (laughs) where's my cranberry chocolates? Get them in here. I need a baguette.